Tabletop RPGs are genuinely such a fun and rewarding experience to enjoy with friends and potentially family. Let's see if my antisocial bud can do it with an AI. If you don't know much about ChatGPT, just know that it's a very intuitive AI chatbot that can give very in-depth conversational replies. Not only can it function as a chatbot, it can also give you ideas, write code and instructions for things, and write simple stories. I wanted it to be my dungeon master in a one-on-one D&D experience. Let's see how it panned out. Buckle, buckle, buckle up for the sweetest ride and prepare to have your mind blown wide when worlds collide. When Okay, I'm going to be honest. I tried it and it very quickly turned into a situation where I'm better off just talking about the experience rather than showing the whole thing play out. It turns out that ChatGPT is only really good at constructing a story. I'm sure I could spend an extended period of time training it on D&D gameplay, how being a DM works, and what the back and forth of a tabletop game typically looks like. I'll try to learn how in the future. One thing I've noticed is that the AI was actually a little more railroady than I initially expected as well. Rather than going along with my decisions, if I tried to change the course of the story, it actively told me that it wouldn't be a good idea. I thought that was a funny quirk. So as far as having an AI play Dungeons and Dragons with me, it seems there isn't enough there to be possible. That doesn't mean we're done though. Let's talk about how this AI can be particularly useful in working on a campaign or one shot as a DM, or even helping you come up with some background stuff for your own character. Buckle, buckle, buckle up for the sweetest ride and prepare to On my second attempt, I got a fairly similar introduction to the AI's thought process. It gave me some steps on what I would need to create a Dungeons & Dragons world, the sort of background stuff that makes fleshing it out relatively easier. It asked for the theme, geographical information like if I wanted a continent, country, etc. It asked for a brief history and lore explanation, including races and cultures. It asked for some political and social background stuff, and some interesting locations and landmarks. Then it asked me to consider some unique elements that could help it stick out. So verbatim, here is what I requested. I would like to start with an overall setting. A traditional high fantasy setting, one that is at relative peace. I want to set up more intense storylines later, but for now all I need is a continent with a government, oligarchical in nature. Along with that government, I'd like the name of a capital city and the name of two other cities. As you can see, it fleshed that all out for me relatively quickly. I was able to quickly copy and paste all of that into my document. It decided on a continent name, its geography, and populace. Aradia, the land of rolling green hills, dense forest, and flowering mountains. I guess the flowers are very hardy and require direct sunlight. The AI took my request for an oligarchy and fleshed it out a bit, adding a council of the wealthy elite. It gave me a capital city, Aranor, as well. It fleshed out Aranor in the next paragraph, and then went on to describe two other cities as well. Aranor sounds like a typical capital of a high fantasy landscape. And then we have Holmgate, the port city known for its bustling docks and halfling population. It's a neat detail. You typically see halflings being forest or field dwellers. The last city it mentions is Silvermist, which sounds like a typical forest elf city. I guess they can't all be Holmgate. Now is the time to introduce a cool tool I found online called Incarnate. I've used it to illustrate the simple stuff we know so far about Aradia. It has a bunch of free textures, stamps, and text you can use to make simple world maps. It also has free battle map features. It's for sure worth checking out if you like making maps, or if you're a dungeon master. Now that I have a population and a continent, let's think about the city I want my players to start in. This is where we can start thinking about what happens during a one-shot, what kinds of characters you want, and things like that. I'm not going to go too in-depth, I just want to show what kinds of characters the AI can create. So, I have a list. I would like to populate the city of Holmgate. I need an innkeeper, a guard captain, a general shop owner, the city leader, a random citizen knowledgeable about the city, and a citizen in distress. The AI worked out pretty quickly what these characters would be like. I guess it's important to mention at this point that you don't have to stick with the names the AI gives you. You can also make changes to the material, obviously. This is simply an exercise in using a tool to help you flesh out your ideas. Remember, you can give as little or as much detail as you like when asking for things. On the other hand, you can request as little or as much detail as you'd like. If you have trouble wording things, this feels like a wonderful tool to help you flesh out material. The people of interest for the city of Holmgate are obviously Alora the Innkeeper, Captain Kale the Guard Captain, the General Shop Owner Lyrian, and Mayor Thorn. It even gives them personalities. Kale is gruff but lawful, Lyrian is a savvy businesswoman. That sort of stuff is key to being able to voice a character and flesh them out through player interaction. With this information, along with the information the AI gives us about Holmgate, we can start to come up with what Holmgate would look like. As you can see, this is a super rough 5 minute job I did on Incarnate. We know Holmgate is a port city and has a mostly halfling population, so we could even change some details about the citizens we have produced so far. We could even make a few more of them halfling. Now that we have some citizens and characters, let's create some tension. I want a group of bandits who live in the city of Holmgate. I would like the group's name, their goals and current plans, a leader, a generic bandit member, and a pickpocket who's a member of the group. 
Oh, good. The whole Homegate Hooligans. I hate that name. Let's change it. Can I have some alternate names for the bandit group? The Homegate Ruffians, the Homegate Scoundrels, the Homegate Rogues, the Homegate Cutthroats, the Homegate Outlaws. Oh, okay, okay. Let's try wording that differently. I would like some more alternative group names, this time without the word Homegate. Okay, perfect. We have the Serpent's Tongue. The next thing I ask for are some side quests for the party. The AI generates some quick and simple quests with rewards. I don't find much use in the rewards, but knowing that goblins kidnapped someone is good, we can use that to create intrigue down the road. The other one is a little too simple, so I'll leave it out on my final product. I decide to ask the AI for some other side stuff. Can you give me two more quests that will occur entirely inside the city? Oh cool, we have Ivan and his shop, and a rival merchant. That's two more shops we can add to the city map, and some cool decision making for the adventuring party. Side Quest 4 includes a group of thieves that can easily be members of the Serpent's Tongue. This gives you a chance to flesh out some members of the Serpent's Tongue and give the party a chance to maybe even do some morally gray area stuff and fence the goods. Or it gives them an opportunity to apprehend the hooligans and return the stolen artifact for a reward. The last thing I want is for the AI to come up with some random encounters inside the city. I ask for two, and they are pretty basic thieves and ruffians. The cool thing we get from this is the ability to have the AI roll the stats for the encountered enemies, and even ask for them to be level appropriate. I'll have to follow up with another video where we play around with rolling stats for encounters. Now that we're done interacting with ChatGPT for a bit, let's look at the final results. This is all the stuff I liked from the AI compiled into some simple graphics. We have a government, the continent the government is on, a few cities, and one of the cities fleshed out a tiny bit. Obviously, with actual play, you'll find opportunities to flesh out the city even more, but having some prepared characters and encounters helps the process quite a bit. There's always room for putting your own spin on things on top of a bare-bones overview like this. It's nice to have some characters that you don't have to pull out of nowhere, and some prepared locations and events to throw at your party. Can you see yourself trying this out? Do you want me to experiment with different ideas on ChatGPT? I'd love to know. Feel free to subscribe and comment your ideas and feedback. I appreciate you all, and I'll see you next time.